You know what the real China mystery is? Why a Japanese gaming company only comes up with Chinese themed slots? Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And ni hao my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and today we're going to investigate the China mystery. I know I put this one off for a little while just because we had the new Viva Piñata themed game that we were playing, but now we're going to be back on track doing our normal My Vegas uh, best, uh, best of Games series. So let's go ahead and put our first 100 spins on the clock on your mark, get set, ready, and go. Okay, so yet again, we've got ourselves one of these lovely My Konami games, so it's definitely going to be a little bit of a slower episode episode I've noticed and we're gonna go ahead and see if this uh, this game actually plays back pretty well and you guys know the rules of the Konami games they're either polarizingly bad or they're just really really top tier amazing so you'll get these big five of a kinds like this over here oh wow that was 30 million on one spin putting up uh, just under a million a spin and it's probably all downhill from here, but that's already a third of our bets that are covered, which is pretty good. And I know that this game only offers uh, free spins as, uh, as bonuses here. So hopefully, hopefully this will work out a little bit better. And this will be a quick one, because I know last time that we did my Konami game, it was pretty insane how many free spins that we got. So I'm real excited to go ahead and see how this one goes, at least. And hopefully it'll go a little better than our last uh, last time with the uh, Lucky Pinata game, or the Not-So-Lucky Pinata, however you want to say it. There we go. All right. And I hope you guys were able to make it to the podcast this uh, last Sunday here. It was at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, I always do those with uh, Chris Rocks and the Comps Guy. Uh, Comps Guy was out. He was enjoying his Father's Day with his uh, with his wife and children. So you know that was a that was a good time there. Uh, we did all of our stuff in the morning, so I wasn't too worried about that, and just enjoyed a nice, peaceful evening with you guys talking about some casino stuff. And actually, I was going to ask you guys too. Uh, what you guys want us to talk about on the next podcast there. So Dan in the live chat, he had told us about uh, doing a... Uh, oh, look at this. We got some free games here. How many free games is this? All right, 24 free games. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and get these free games popping here real quick, and then uh, we'll see how it all goes. So I think we can either do super free games for like a third of what you normally do or you can get like one or a bunch of free games for 24. I oh, know it's either credit prize which will probably only be about uh, looks like it's only gonna top out at like 10 million credits at the most as it tops out at 93 million that'd be insane if we got the 93 million but I don't think we're gonna get that so it's probably best to just go ahead and get the free games and see what happens. And you know, uh, given the advice that I've gotten, since this has been uh, usually a slower series, I'm going to go ahead and count these towards our 100 spins. So let's go ahead and add these on. All right. Uh, but yo, Dan in the live chat, he had uh, recommended that uh, we all pick ourselves a theme uh, next podcast and say what kind of casino that we would open on the strip if we had the opportunity. So I wanted to do that, um, but I talked to Chris. She's actually not going to be able to make it to the next podcast, so I'm, I'm thinking that we might want to save that for week after next. But if you guys have anything that uh, you think that we should talk about, I'd love to hear about it in the comments section below. And, of course, if you uh, have any particular game that you want to do, I know that we're uh, playing Screaming Eagles next, but obviously we have a whole other page of games. If I haven't covered it, I'd be happy to go ahead and try it out next game. Yeah, but the podcast was a pretty fun one. So we talked about uh, Zach Bargan, uh, or Bergen, I can't remember his name, uh, from Ghost Hunters. He's got a little museum going up there on uh, just off the strip. Uh, and it's a haunted museum. So he's got these crazy rocking chairs, a lot of celebrity haunted things. Like, I guess they had uh, Michael Jackson's chair from when he uh, when he died or something like that. Or something, uh, something else that's off the wall insane that just... Uh, that just kind of, they happened to have that I thought was a little bit of a bizarre thing to own, but, you know, what you gonna do? 
And I'm not really, I'm not really a superstitious type. I'm not into the whole spirits and demons, ghost apparitions. There, the closest I get to that is watching Yu Yu Hakusho reruns uh, from back in the day. So I don't usually uh, worry about that none too hard. But uh, Chris was pretty into it, and she had some pretty interesting information. So if you guys ever want to check that out, feel free to go ahead and drop by the podcast, and then we'll uh, tell you all about that too. Uh, but we were also talking about how the north side of the strip is struggling. And how uh, my Konami and Lucky Life are fusing. The My Vegas Lucky Life and my Konami slots are combining now. So hopefully we're going to be seeing a lot more Resorts World rewards. Maybe something for from a Genting Group, um, not just in Malaysia and Taiwan and Philippines and other Asian territories. But we're hoping to see a little something here on the Vegas Strip, since the Resorts World Hotel and Casino is going to be opening about this time next year, second quarter of 2020. And hopefully we'll be able to make it to that grand opening there. I know it'll be a summertime opening. Uh, gonna be a tough one to get Wendy in on that one, because it's gonna be hot as all get out. And she's from Minnesota, so it'll be pretty difficult to dra- drag the Minnesota girl out there into the uh, heat of the desert for no reason. So we might have to might have to bring someone else. We'll see if we can talk her into it. We'll ha- I'll have you guys all drop, uh, drop some comments that says that we need to go to the uh, Resort World's opening. Uh, but anyway, though, looks like we are making some pretty good progress over here, and hopefully we're making more progress on the, no- the north side of the strip, because that is just the roughest place right now. Um, but yeah, yeah, let us know in the uh, comment section what you guys think. What's the best way for uh, Vegas to revitalize the north side of the strip? Alright, good deal. Looks like we got some bonus games over here. We are just going to go ahead and take the free games. Okay, so now that we're picking the free games over here, let's get these eight out of the way. On your market set, ready, go. And it doesn't look like we're seeing much of anything. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below. There's so many things I want in the comment section below today. What game we should play after Screaming Eagles. Um, also, what uh, what themes you guys want me to talk about. Uh, I think Jerry put down in the... Uh, comment section on the last video that she was actually very interested in seeing a Mayan themed casino because we don't have one of those on the strip and I, I think they used to have like an El Dorado casino or something like that but I think that was more of a more of kind of a western themed casino and not so much uh, a Mayan or Aztec themed one so that'd be pretty cool to see on the strip I think honestly if you ask me and also, um, I, th- I think, I, I know another uh, viewer had recommended, like, uh, I, I named my casino Space of Vegas because it's a pun, and because I totally have a space-themed casino or something like that. But, you know, there are these other, uh, other casino ideas, like um, one that I was talking to, talking to Wendy about, it'd be really great to have a uh, dinosaur-themed um, museum, <laughs> or a dinosaur-themed casino. Uh, you could even call it the, the Mesozoic uh, Hotel Casino. You could call it the Mez or whatever, and that'd be that'd be kind of cool. I would definitely go to the Mez, you know, get some major T-Rex cocktails or something like that. You could dress the cocktail waiters and waitresses up as uh, Flintstones characters, and it'd just be a good time. Or I guess you'd have to say that it'd be a gay old time, because, you know, Flintstones meet the fun. You know how the theme song goes. All right, guys. Well, that's it for uh, today's spins. It looks like we ended at 600... 40 million. All right, it ran one over. Let's go ahead and try this again. All right, so it looks like we ended at 640 million, 881,198 chips. So let's go ahead and take a quick break here. I'm going to do some maths as usual, and we're going to count up the booty. All right, you guys, so my Vegas is threatening us with sinking or spinning, and it looks like we are safe to sink over here because it looks like China Mystery is going to be one of our favorite games. It offered us a payback percentage of 111.8%, which is actually really good for my Konami game. I'm really impressed. So we're going to hold on to this one. Uh, Next time, we're going to go ahead and talk some Screaming Eagles and see how we do there. But for now, I'm going to take a break and uh, maybe finish some laundry because I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. So until next time, my friends, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands, happy spending, and of course, let me know which casino I should play next in this game. (laughs) 